Hey, Dale, Matt, and Tater here from the Time Machine, and um, inspiring day working on the VEL bike today and doing a few maintenance items, checking some oils, nuts, bolts, and things, and decided today was the day that I'm going to change an important engine component of this machine, the cam cover. Nothing wrong with this one. Short story, not long ago I was on a field trip scouting around some old motorcycle parts, found an extremely rare uh, Harley board track racing bike, and in the man's pile of stuff, I found this extremely rare 1936 one-year-only, probably first 150 knuckleheads ever built. Use this cutout cam cover, and we're going to put it on the 1936 VEL. It'll put the real meat into this 36, because when you see this on a bike, you know it's 36. Short history on 36 knucklehead cam covers. Of course, I'm not Chris Haynes, but I do know a little bit about these machines. The version of cam cover we're putting on is the early version, and the 36 knucklehead Collectors and freaks around the country all really admire this cover. Earlier version on the machine on this uh, bike right now, so we're going to be removing this cam cover, installing this cam cover. I've already made a measurement to ensure that the cam cover end play or the cam end play will remain the same. And it really shouldn't take too long for this procedure. I'm estimating about 15 minutes. It's about 4 o'clock right now. We'll catch you in a few minutes. Short a procedure here 13 cam cover screws. Uh, got to take the brake pedal off and get to the last one. Take off the overhead oil line. This cam cover is going to pop right off. Put the new end back on it. I think I'm going to have a whole new motorcycle. Well, looks like Matt has about all the cam cover screws off. And while we're doing this procedure, we're also going to make it a little improvement to the overhead valve machine. And that would be on the overhead oiling system. And what I have in my hand is a little oil fitting that feeds oil and pressurizes the top. And of course, over-oiling on the top has always been a problem on the knucklehead machine. My buddy Myron soldered this fitting up the other day, drilled a 125 thousandths inch hole in it. It's going to regulate the oil to the top end. Big improvement on the 36 VEL. Big trick, of course, is to get the cam cover off without dislodging the cam or any of the parts. I think it's going to pop right off. Of course, we hope the pinion gear doesn't uh, come off. That would be definitely a problem and we don't want to tear the gasket up. I'm going to jump in here and give Matt a hand and get this thing pulled off evenly. Perfect. I'll get you a gasket. Okay. Well, that's it, the internals of the VEL. And, of course, a lot of people always look at the bikes at wheels for time, and they always wonder, what's on the inside of that machine? And as you can see, all your 36 Lightning parts, my secret on a cam, not going to tell you what it is, but the uh, cam cover came off per perfectly. I'm going to measure this height of this bushing to make sure we get the proper cam end play. The measurement we're making on the cam cover we took off is the height from this bushing to the case, and that's going to determine the cam end play without taking part of this engine apart. So if these two heights are equal on the cover that I'm using and the cover that's coming off the bike, it'll go right on. 59,000, 59 and a half thousands. And exactly the same. That kind of shows you the engineering at Harley-Davidson. Nearly every one of these bikes is perfect. Out of the factory, you can interchange these parts. This thing's going to jam right back on here. We'll be going shortly. Cam cover gasket gooped up. I love that sound. That looks like a job well done. Of course, I feel like I have an entirely new 36 with about 36 cam cover. Pretty exciting part, pretty exciting bike. And we'll catch you later on the time machine.